Hey everybody, Jimmy Versolino here, USMC vet, mortgage originator, specializing in VA loans and helping all of my veterans and active duty service members learn more about their VA home loan benefit. And by the way, that's what this channel is designed to do, to educate veterans and active duty service members, regardless of service, about their VA home loan financing. Today, we're going to talk about a very important topic that I've never addressed before. And I'm kind of, Taylor, I'm kind of excited to talk about it. And the reason why is, is because, the reason why I'm excited to talk about it is, is because uh, a lot of veterans ask this question and they really don't know where to turn. They think, well, I'm getting a VA home loan. It's the same anywhere and everywhere I go. And that could not be further from the truth. So the question is, is who should you use when applying for a VA loan? Should you use a USAA, right? Great company, a Navy Federal, or should you work with somebody like myself, a mortgage originator who specializes in VA loans? So that is exactly what we are going to talk about today. Before we do though, we've got to take care of some business. Number one, make sure you click like on this video. Number two, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Believe it or not, by doing that, it helps us to educate veterans and active duty service members. And lastly, comment down below with your questions so I can make sure that I get them answered personally for you. So back to what we were discussing USAA, Navy Federal, or a local mortgage lender that specializes in VA loans, all right? Now, before I get started, I wanna make something very clear. Uh, this video is not an indictment on uh, USAA or Navy Fed. Those are uh, wonderful financial, financial excuse me, institutions, and in fact, I'm a member of both of them. So I wanna be very clear that I'm not bad-mouthing competition here. With that being said, I also want to be very clear and say that what I'm about to share with you are my experiences as a mortgage originator who specializes in VA loans that you know, has their ear to the street with real estate professionals and knows what's going on day in and day out in the real estate and mortgage industry. This is not a one size fits all. Perhaps you've had a different experience when it comes to your VA home loan benefit with one of those two lending institutions. And if so, that's wonderful. I'm happy to hear that. That doesn't necessarily happen all the time. And you as the veteran need to be prepared for what to expect. So what are the main differences between a USAA, Navy Federal, and let's just say uh, a local mortgage lender? Well, the first part is, is the feel of it. What do I mean by the feel of it? Well, when you speak to a Navy Fed or a USAA, we all know that we're picking up the phone, we're entering our member number, and we're speaking to somebody that's oftentimes located in a different state, corporate call center type environment, and at the same time has specific working hours that they are on your loan. You're not getting uh, a local mortgage lender's cell phone where you can text message with them, where your real estate agent has direct contact with the mortgage lender, which when they're able to communicate with your local mortgage lender who specializes in VA loans, that's a very important part of it. Gotta specialize in VA loans. Whoever you choose, make sure that they specialize in VA loans and that they're very knowledgeable when it comes to how the VA home loan benefit works because it can impact your transaction and save you time, energy, and money. So back to the communication piece. The communication piece is so incredibly important because your real estate professional is going to need to be coordinating and speaking to your mortgage lender about things like your closing when the appraisal's being ordered, when the loan documents are being delivered to the title company. This helps them to facilitate your transaction. And what I've seen in my experience over the years is that with some of the big box lenders, it's much more challenging for the agents to get communication coming from these specific lending institutions. So what does that mean for you? or how does that impact you? When you write an offer and you have one of these specific institutions representing you on your pre-qualification, what I'm here to say is simply this. The seller may think twice about accepting your offer at the advice of the listing agent who has perhaps had a challenging communication experience with one of these two institutions in the past. Real estate, Mortgage lending is a full contact sport. And what I mean by that is there is once again a ton of communication that is taking place that all parties need to be aware of to ensure everything is taking place according to plan. Good to go. And now let's talk about another reason why it makes sense to 
consider getting a second opinion more so than just from the big box retailer. What I mean by that is, is the information that oftentimes comes from these institutions. And again, this is my experience. This just happened to a client that was pre-qualified from one of the two lenders that I told you about earlier that was told, and I kid you not, that they had to come in with a $90,000 down payment on a VA jumbo loan. Let me let you in on a little secret, everybody. VA loans do not require a down payment. So this veteran was given false information from that particular mortgage company and they got a second opinion. That second opinion came from my office and they literally, I kid you not, this is a true story. They saved $90,000 in the form of a down payment, number one. And number two, they were able to save nearly half of a percentage point in interest rate. You think that that veteran was happy they got a second opinion from one of the two lending institutions that I told you about earlier? It's absolutely true and things that you need to be aware of. And the last piece of all of this is the timing. Oftentimes these lenders are working in different time zones. Different time zones, once again, have people checking in and checking out maybe earlier in the day or later in the day which could impact your ability to close on time. Make sure at the very least you're keeping all of your options open. It's important that you're making an informed decision based off of the advice of your mortgage originator and your real estate agent to ensure that you get into your home quickly and efficiently when you're utilizing your VA home loan benefit. And make sure that you get into your home with as little bumps or speed blocks, whatever you wanna call it, as possible. Good to go? My name is Jimmy Versolino. For more information, you could always roger up with me on my website at valoansforvets.com or you can reach out to me direct at 602-908-5849.